When you load the dev tools in Kibana for the first time, you're presented with this default query. The underscore search resource is the primary way to run a query in Elasticsearch. It can be invoked using either the get or post verbs. The behavior is identical in both scenarios. The request body contains Elasticsearch query DSL, domain specific language. Every query starts with a query key and in there is where you describe the criteria you want your matching documents or hits to have. This query is called a match all. There are no criteria a document needs to have in order to be a hit for the query, so it will match every document. It's effectively a select star from table in SQL. You can get the same results by removing the request body completely. Running this query gives a quick response. Query responses have a common format. The time the query took to run is provided in milliseconds under the took key and an indication of whether the query timed out is given in the timed out key. The underscore shards key tells us how many shards were queried and includes details on the number that were successful, skipped or failed. We'll see more on what these mean later. The matching documents, hits, are provided in an array under the hits key in the response. Each item in the array is in a similar format to the response we got from the get API. One key that wasn't in the response from the get API, however, is underscore score. Elasticsearch doesn't just find matching documents. It also gives an indication of how well each hit matched your query. This might sound a bit odd if you're used to relational databases, where you're only looking for rows that match the query. A row would either match or it won't. There's no middle ground. That's also true for Elasticsearch. A document wouldn't be a hit if it didn't match the query. In Elasticsearch, however, some query types can have documents that match better than others. You may be looking for documents where a field contains the words bread and butter, and documents where those words are closer to each other could be a better hit with a higher score. Hits in the response are ordered by default in descending score order. The concept of ranking results by how well they match a query is called relevance. Relevance is a big area of study in the information retrieval field. Think of how well Google did in the late 90s because their page rank algorithm was so much better than Yahoo's approach to relevance. I'm really showing my age here. A match all query doesn't specify any criteria documents need to match, so all hits have the same default score of 1. We'll see how the score can be influenced through this section and when we explore full text search. This request isn't hitting a specific index. It's going straight to the underscore search resource. This means that the query is matching all documents in all indices. The query can be restricted to a single index by adding the index name before the resource. Queries can be run against multiple indices. You can provide a comma delimited list of indices or use wildcards. The index the hit is from is shown in the underscore index key. Only 10 hits will be returned by default. You can change this number by adding a size property to the request body. Each hit will contain the full source of the document. You're able to filter this down using the underscore source property in the query if you're not interested in every field. Using a value of false will exclude the source entirely. Passing an array or comma delimited string of field names will include only those fields in the response. If you want most, but not all of the fields in the response, you can exclude just some by using an object for the value of underscore source and adding in the excludes key. Now we have an idea of how to frame a query, let's have a look at building some basic ones. 